Okay, so you have a nice phone. How are you guys? Really, really, really excited. Thanks for having finally out. It's my pleasure. After so many years of working and uh, so, of course, it feels just, just amazing. So I'm, I'm a fan of peer view. Right? The first peer view fixed digital zoom. Yes. The last the zoom. Yeah. The second peer view fixed blurriness and. Uh, yeah, thank you. That was shaking. my gift to you. <laughs> <laughs> so the third one, the 1020, yeah. it has both. Yes, so exactly. What other aspects of photography are you interested in, in fixing? Uh, well, uh, you know that one one thing uh, in uh, working with images is that you always know what do you want to fix and what do you want to uh, so so that the, the human visual system is, is is so important to us that you whatever you do you always uh, is it, extremely sensitive so 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 there's there's a lot of things you can always make these images look better and uh, of course we are not able to tell you all the, okay. <laughs> all the, all the things that we are working uh, but, but uh, I, I can tell you that it's, um, it's exciting to work in imaging and, and uh, the people are really really sensitive so whatever we do you can, you can always see it. so I think mm -hmm. it just makes it fun. Yeah, it's easy to show the result of the work in uh, events like this when you can by showing a few pictures, you can really say that what, yeah. what, what have been achieved. Mm. So, so it's, it's really cool. So I've read a story where few of you started from like beer. Yeah. Beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I said set down at the right time. Yeah, yeah. So, so Aaron and I, we had been working with the N93 and N93i, those two products, the optical tool. And um, and then we were actually working on the next generation optical zoom, but we we had been working with that uh, quite a long time and it was like not coming together. So so it always always old. felt felt that uh, <laughs> that you need to make a big trade off in the sensor size, or then the optics sharpness, or then you need to make a trade off in the aperture size, and and then we thought that well if you would have this huge image sensor. Yeah. It, would, it would solve all the problems and uh, then after a couple of years it felt like a good idea and, and, and actually we did it. <laughs> so so uh, this is a true story and we have a photo of the original napkin. Yeah. So we did the first, first very, very advanced design. Yeah. But it was really, really like uh, coming as I think uh, many of the things and almost all of the things that we do are coming from the from the consumer experience and, and uh, not so much about putting some specific technology into the device but it's really improving the quality improving the all aspects of, of image and video capture and, and that was also the origin for this the in, invention of putting the large sensor right. uh, like it shows like with ProCam that, that you announced mm. like advanced users are going to like it but mm. I like that you also included the built-in tutorials so yeah. like beginners are going to really yeah, yeah, appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. And, and it, it was of course really important for us. So we want to really make a great smartphone with has a, has a great camera. So it must be really everybody's phone. Yeah. So not just just like a, just a camera. And uh, you can use this pro application. You just click it and you always have a perfect shot. So 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 it's just. It, it, you don't need to know anything about yeah. uh, those settings. So it's like SLR. You have the settings if you want, but anybody can take a modern SLR and just go and take photos, and it, it works. It works. But the only thing you notice is that it's, it takes great photos. And and and, uh, and and by the way, the, for example, this image, it was also automatically turning on the flash when it saw the backlight situation. So it's actually it's really clever what we are doing. And then. The, for the people who want to uh, uh, like start playing with the settings, mm -hmm. so if you are not really comfortable, for example, what the ISO means, the UI is also informing you, uh, like, okay, now you have a, a bit high ISO value, so you might get noisy images. So if you go to long exposure time, it might it's, it's warning you that you might get handshake. Right. So so it's also like. Uh, guiding the user to, to those settings so that you are like in the comfort zone, Un unless you are you are familiar with with ISO and, and exposure. That's really good. Right. Yeah. Um, this yeah. is time for probably about one more La question. Yeah, last yeah. one. Um, 
They're talking about uh, second generation image stabilization. Yes. Can you talk, talk about the improvements? Yeah. So, in here, when, when uh, putting in the 41 megapixel large image sensor, we had to, and, and also the very complicated six element lens, uh, uh, we had to design a totally new system uh, for the optical image st stabilization that is capable of moving the high mass. So it's pretty heavy lens system that needs to be moved. And uh, due to that, uh, we had to redesign it from scratch to be able able to do that. And, and now, uh, how it works is as you saw in the video video in the in the keynote. Yeah, there's uh, ball bearings that are holding the lens back together, and the lens is moving. Uh, the whole lens stack is moving on, on, on top of those ball bearings, uh, driven actively by motors, and, and uh, it's pretty unique unique system. Okay. Yeah. You can even see the OIS moving if you watch carefully. I don't think it's probably. It might be too much, but I'm I'm shaking oh, it yeah. now. Yeah. You can, you can see that it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite nice. You can see the barrel actually actively yeah. being compensated. Very cool. yeah. Thanks so much. Hey, Thanks. our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.